Good morning, everybody. It's Neil here from AS CAD Services. Uh, my customer asked a question regarding NC files the other day, and it was how do you change the placement of the part mark? Now, uh, it's only a short video, but I'll show you exactly how to do that. Let's create an NC file first. So I'm going to create the NC file for this column. I'm going to go to the output ribbon. I'm going to go to NC settings and make sure I'm based on single part numbers, which I am. I'm going to say OK, and I'm going to create the NC. And as quick as that, there it is, created it. Created successfully. So we'll go and look for that. It's in the document manager, of course, under DSTV files, DSTV NC, up to date, part. And let's preview that and see what we've got. OK, the block within the NC file that describes the part number and the part marking is the SI block, which is this one here. And you can see from this, it's uh, going to put the part mark on M137, which we know is correct. And this is telling it that it's going to etch this or punch this using 10 mil high lettering. And it's also telling it that from the reference point on the object, on a plate, it would be bottom left corner. On a beam, it's normally bottom left of a flange or whatever. It's going to put the part mark two millimeters in on the X axis and two meters up on the Y axis. So it's fairly close to the corner. Uh, my customers ask, how do we change this default? So we're going to go ahead and do that. So the first thing I'm doing, I'm just going to delete this because we'll recreate it in a minute. And we're going to say OK. And it's going to ask, do we want to delete the documents? So just while I'm in here, some people, they, they close the window. They mark this as delete and they close the window. When it comes back, they're still there. And they wonder why. Uh, you can't just put them in the delete folder and close document manager. You need to say OK. And then it confirms, do you really want to be doing this? Yes, we do. Now they're gone. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so let's make this change. I want to go into management tools. There's two places I can find it, either on the home ribbon or on the tools ribbon there. Uh, this is uh, advanced till 2020. It doesn't matter which one we use. They're both exactly the same. Uh, we're going to go into defaults and we're going to click on structured bomb stroke NC. And we're going to expand that. And then we're going to click on DSTV NC and DXF. And it's going to open this window and we have options for the NC files. And if I scroll down, we have one here, NC hard stamp, use auto placement. Well, if we untick that, what's going to happen now, these are going to override. So these are now going to be the settings for the placement of the hard stamp or etching in the X position, position in the Y and the text height. So that's the three fields we looked at in the SI block. And of course, we can change these. I'll leave them as 10, 10 and 10. There's no reason why not. And we'll give it another go. So I'm going to click probably out of habit. I'm not sure we need to click on low settings in advance anymore, but I always tend to do it. And I'm going to close this window. But the one thing I am going to do is go to the home ribbon menu and I can click update defaults from here. Sorry, from the, the home ribbon menu from here or the tools menu from here. But I'm going to click this update defaults. What this does, it reloads the amended or changed database into the system. If we don't click that, it will still be using the preloaded uh, database. So what we've done here, we've uploaded and said use the new database. So let's go and create our NC file again. So the output ribbon, we're going to use the same column. And we know this is already set to based on single part because it will remember it from last use. And we're going to click on NC. Oh, straight away, it's created it. And we're going to have a look at that. There, there. And we'll preview that. And here's the SI block. And we can see now we're using the 10 mil from document manager, uh, so from management tools, beg your pardon. And the 10 mil and the Y, um, we left the 10 mil lettering height. So there it is. That's how we change that. It's a global change. You don't need to do that every single time. Um, I'm just going to delete that again while I'm in here because I don't need it. Yeah, that's a global change. We don't need to do that every time we start advanced. Still, once we've done it, it'll remember it until we change it back. 
So um, simple enough to do, uh, just one of those little uh, bits of knowledge that help you uh, get on with the job a bit easier. So that's it guys, thanks very much for your time and uh, I'll post something again as questions arise. If you've got any questions of course, drop them on email to me, I'll see what I can do for you and uh, perhaps create a video for it. Anyway, there it is, thanks very much, uh, speak to you again soon.